we know black folks, we're going to blow the piss out of this BS because there ain't nothing from this thing. This thing, the rocket is still goddamn up there cruising around. So I'll let people know on the Dutch's channel last night too. So there ain't no damn Phobos going to hit the Earth, folks. If anything comes in, it'll be a comet or something. And as far as I know, there's nothing damn close to Earth. Now we're going to have a very fast moving large object. Let me take you to that. More info here, folks. This is basically Phobos' uh, orbit. Okay. And you see we went all the way up to the 20th. Uh, and for trajectory and so forth, basically, it's way deep out in space and behind some planets, probably behind a moon or something like that. Or way That's how damn far out this damn thing is. Okay, folks? It's way the hell out in space. Okay? It ain't going to hit Earth. Okay? So the 20th of January, because on it's so far out and behind some big planets that you don't get to even get a visible of it on the 15th or uh, the 19th wasn't shown before okay but it's interesting the 15th doesn't show up okay so it's going to be higher and away on the 15th that you can't even see it okay and that that rocket that I showed you a minute ago that's the, what boosted Phobos grunt into space if you, if you really watch the NBC footage of that, it's basically, uh, if you've ever seen a Godzilla movie or a Godzilla vs. Kong years ago, ladies and gentlemen, if you watch the footage really closely, there is no material out close by a rocket when it takes off like they show that crap in that fake video of a fake freaking, well, it's probably a real Russian probably footage possibly of a different rocket if it's real but I really think it actually looks like it's staged BS okay Boas grunt is not going to hit earth anytime very soon okay now there's another super giant folks and I'm sorry but they basically I can't get how far away it is from earth okay uh, I'll check it but I'm not going to waste time with video time on it okay and then and yes folks that's my local side rail time today if you want to find out where I'm at okay so there we go. There's your, and then basically there's Antares, and then we'll go ahead and look at the NASA stuff for today. And there's your time and everything like that, and then the west sky, folks, and it'll match the other map I showed you. And then we'll pop to uh, NASA's shot real fast. And yes, those lights you see and everything up here, folks, even when you look at the small ones, those are asteroid belts, okay? Asteroid belts, asteroid belts, that Oort cloud in over in Hawaii, asteroid belt, okay? Asteroid Oort belt, uh, nebula. It's all the same crap, okay? It's just what the scientists want to call the shit, okay? These are nebula, TCB, XC, all Q, U, A, L, 80, is it, or L, B, O, okay? And these are constellations, and we showed you Arcturus in the last one, and this is Antares. And as I will show you as we just go ahead and come right back up the screen and go right back to, I believe, New Mexico sky, you're going to still see Arcturus, and there's Antares, and just basically scroll back to the map I just showed you, okay? And basically, we can do that real fast, so the talking at you so you don't get lost in space is there's Antares down here, and it'll match up pretty much, because if this is not high enough, okay? The very edge of Earth is right there, okay? And then you're looking up at the sky, like as if you're looking at a globe like Earth when you're looking at the humongous space out there, okay? So that's the only thing that matches up, okay? And it's about over here right now somewhere. Basically better, better viewable on here, okay? Right now you don't have how far away it is, but it's hella out there because it's in the supergiants, folks. Look at the supergiants. And no, it's not the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the map I just showed you. It would show the moon if it was there. It would also show you on the NASA if it's there. It's not. Actually, that's what's kind of BS is NASA doesn't show where the moon is on the deal, I don't think, on their maps. But I do. A real-time search is here, folks. And basically, we have a huge either supergiant star or a planet up next close to the sun, folks. Okay? Because 606, 618... 6.30, and I know I'm jumping through here real fast, but you're going to see a window, 6 to 11.30, okay? Big gap, 6.42 to 11.30, they don't show. Now, we're going to scroll back down, and there is your planet or other sun right there.
can't miss it. That's not a that, there is a flare on the sun there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, but there's your time, and I'm going to scroll up real slow, and you're going to see it stay there. Okay, through every shot, and watch your clock. Okay, 7:54, and we ain't done. We're going to be a long time there, folks. It's not a flare. Anybody that's watched the CMEs and flares, okay, there is flares. Okay, there's flare and even a CME action there, and sunlight coming off the sun. Okay. Soho keeps everything still, and then basically you can see the rise and set of this thing because basically they took that big gap out. But as you watch these and freeze these frames and times, you can end up getting if you go to Lasco. Okay, you go to Soho and you'll see this. Okay, now we're dropping back down through these times here. That when we get to the six o'clock, it's going to be this. There's going to be a gap from eleven something. To 642 okay but you can still see it coming up here and I'm going to take you to photos here in a second I'm basically going to scum scroll down this through this real slow so you basically would be able to free you'll be able to freeze this on the video okay the times and where it's at okay and yes there's huge objects folks all those objects are bigger possibly even than can I dare even say Mercury or Mars or Venus possibly but you know some of these are close to and even you probably even have Mercury Mars or Venus, but if you count, there's way more than that out there, okay? They don't teach us about stuff in space, folks. Why? You pay all these tax dollars to take these huge pictures, and I'm just keeping going down because you'll be able to freeze and see this thing, and as you see a dark shadow there, you see the beginning of it starting to rise or set. And since you basically flip this around, if you're looking at NASA shots, and I was going to take time to do a 360 on the, on the Navy shot from NASA, but... Uh, and Air Force, we love all of our military branches, Marines. There's a Marine in charge of NASA down there right now, ladies and gentlemen, making sure that we don't have anybody mess around with the Air Force down there, ladies and gentlemen, okay, on the ground. And this is LASCO 3, folks, and I'll pop up real fast so you can see it, and you can see it right there. You see that? And then we're going to take you to LASCO 2 also, and you'll be able to see it. And I'll just take you up to the clock here real fast because I was taking some pictures of this, and I'll take you to pictures on it just so that I show you that basically that's what we're looking at. Last go three today, okay? So, and that's exactly what you see there. And I'm going to go back down. I think I'll be to the left of it. Oh, there we are, right on it, okay? So there you go. And there's way more than that up there, folks. They layer all these shots. Remember that, okay? And yes, the arm is on there a little bit today on the Navy shot, okay? Possibly hiding some stuff because basically you can also go to some photos. Let me pop this to like, uh, I'll go to 150. And you're going to see that's what we're looking at. And basically, you're going to go see some photos here in a second. I'll show you that basically they've been streaming, but I'll be able to match some stuff together, being able to find this stuff. So there's a huge something. Yes, folks, this would be behind the sun. So if you flip it around, this is up to the left-hand side of the sun up there. Okay? There's tons of stuff up there, folks, tons of stuff. We get sunlight from the sun in the supergiants, i.e., check this out. So this is what we were going through in the last video. So there's the super giants there, and then basically you have over here which should be Venus down there, okay, or something. And it's definitely not. We can't rule out that it could be the last bit of remnant of Lovejoy, okay. But is it? Okay, H1B, okay. And I ain't even gonna waste time going back and seeing you. Anybody that there's people on here that look at these shots way more than what I do, okay. But that's the super giants, folks, and the sun could possibly just be that little flare right there and going into it, okay? It's a gigantic Monterey in space, and as you see, that is a super damn giants, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just the sun, as you see there. See that? That's not just the sun, folks. That's probably the sun right down there, and there's the super giants there, okay? ba bam -bo. Yep, just like a movie, okay? And then... That was more than likely Jupiter putting its squirt off. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm sorry on that because there's Jupiter, okay? And then the idea of the meatball and so forth and stuff, that's why you get this darkness from all that sunlight on the backside, folks, because the gigantic size of M45, M42, and the other astronomical 747 times the size of the sun, okay? Deep back behind us in the dark of space, behind us on the back door, okay? Because we've got Mars here and so forth and so on, and I'll come in and, uh, on this, and basically you'll end up seeing that basically Venus is down there, and it was putting its squirt off of what it's been doing for its protection layer, okay? And then I, on the previous video before this, go to the one just before this, and I show you the latest. Uh, now there's your backdoor action, folks. That's why we get all that dark.
Yes, huge massive planets make that dark area over there, ladies and gentlemen. And as I just showed you some other objects, whether they're suns or whether they're huge boulders from the supergiants, okay? So there we get a little glimpse that it is basically Venus, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I will even zoom in a little bit more. You'll see the roundness. We know that's not the head of Lovejoy, okay? So the volcanoes that are known to be on the moons of Venus or either that or Venus has some volcanoes doing what it's doing there, okay? Because it's not just a camera flare and so forth and so on. There's something happening with that CME action, CME reactive flares, and basically volcanoes here on Earth and probably more than likely up on Venus and so forth and so on. And so I will try to go ahead and take you to, and basically I'll zoom in on this one and you'll see what I'm talking about because there's what we've seen before that we've busted the balls on anybody from any agency of the government telling us when we're looking at photos of space that the idea that it's a flare of a camera, okay? It's not a goddamn flare of a camera. It's electrical energy being pulled off because Venus is over here in the right, folks, where you don't see it and where the blast where I showed you in the last picture, right there, okay? So, busting balls again, ladies and gentlemen. Being all black. So I showed you the scope that shows the movement of the sun, and they, they layer everything, folks, and get rid of the sun and the supergiants and everything, and then they look at this material around here. And i got other shots of the material around the sun. There's our object that's getting reflected down to Earth and being seen in our sky, which is a lot farther away, ladies and gentlemen. It's way more than a half AU or whatever from Earth, okay? At least got to be, as you'll see as we pull out from this shot here. You get it off of here and it's up there, okay? And then we know that the Earth is over this way. So that we're getting the projection of that object right there is what it is. I don't know if NASA's figured out or not, but when you go to Lasco, and I'll get that picture from the other night. So all these are suns and the supergiants, folks, that you end up seeing down here on these nighttime shots, even here in the east, okay? Also in the west, in the east. They'll always match up to what you see in the, oh, that's constellation. Those stars are way the hell out there. They're stars, they're suns, they're damn ass bright, okay? We are in different positions than we've ever been in a long time on Earth, ladies and gentlemen, and that's not a damn bird, okay? For everybody who is sitting there, it's a bird, ha, 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 I'm a government shill, uh, you got to say that it's a bird, and it's not. And it's a reflection, folks. That's way the hell up by the sun, okay? Way the hell up by the sun. But it gets reflected black light down here in a 3D total photographic image down to Nehemiah Station, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a flipping bird. And it's not a penguin either. Asteroid belts and Oort clouds, folks. Check it out. The suns and the supergiants. Watch the clock. Yeah, all that stuff we see down at Nehemiah Station when it rises. Way more than one sun, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, also an interesting object at that day. Okay, I apologize for that little gap there, folks, but here's that object that we just found off that Lasco 3 from way up, and this is on Fireball. Okay, so more than likely, I can keep zooming in a lot on that, I think. Okay, so more than likely, that there object there is this. There, yeah, this is right off the channel. Okay, so basically, it's that more than likely that object right there, because I'll plop to 400. That object there, right there, that object right there, okay? So we'll pop to 400, and there you go. Okay? Then we'll go down to regular size. Well, we'll go to 125. There you go. Okay? So that gets reflected towards Earth. Okay? And yes, this is daytime sky, folks, and those are clouds. And those supergiants and objects out in space actually put these dimples in these clouds. Okay? So a lot of times when you see holes in big old cloud cover, basically we know about chemtrailing and also like that. Go to Dutch Sense's channel and talk to everybody in there. Everybody will go in there and tell you, unless they put a bunch of shills in there again, which they constantly will do also. So make sure you see how long somebody's been on the Internet and been on YouTube in order to trust them. Okay? So there we found that object, and that's going to be repetitive. Let's talk about skunk works. We love skunk works. ICBM with jets on it and a wing and a helicopter to take the launcher away and bring it back and a rotary on the back. Very interesting plane, ladies and gentlemen. Huh, skunk works, a, a rama, scare the piss out of everybody. And if I am, I don't really care. Not It, it should be our enemies of the USA, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Well, those are damn well GE. GE is just letters. Look at those jets there. Okay? So, don't let anybody freak you out about UFOs and crap. Okay, shit's all real. Okay, very interesting. 
I'll go in more in depth on that one if anybody wants to email me. Uh, or soon.